should I buy with high interest and possible recession? Correct. Today on this video, we are going to address this objection with you guys. Mm. So stay tuned with us. Uh, we're going to share with you what is the difference in the cost of funding between a resale and a new launch. Everybody is talking about interest rate, mm. high, high, and of course the noise is all over either on the papers or on the social media. Let me share with you. Okay, I bring out this chart. Mm. Private property index against interest rate for the past 20 years. Mm -hmm. The blue color identify the property price, which all the while for the past 20 years, all the while one direction. We are on an increasing mode. Right now, it's already 3.2%. Mm. The red color identify the interest rate chart. Sometimes the interest rate go high, sometimes we go low. Mm. Only there is a slight improvement in the start of this year, 2022, first quarter. There's a slightly increase of about 1%. Mm. Right. We are so much, so much lower compared five years ago in the year 2017, 2018, mm. which we are slightly on a higher interest rate. Mm. Today, I'm going to share with you what happened to those buyers that bought a property in those years. Mm. In the year 2016-2017, Lakeview Park Rivera was launched. Those buyers that take action, if they choose to sell at this point of time, all make good profit, range from 300 to 400,000 on Lakeview. Park Rivera, on the average, they make a profit of around 250,000 too. Mm. In the year 2018, two projects was launched, Seaside Studying, both share the same pattern compared to Lakeview and Park Rivera. Everyone make money. Mm. So I'm sharing with you whether you agree with me that at this kind of high interest rate, which is higher than now, right now, and they choose to take action, they still make money, regardless of interest rate. Mm. Okay, so okay, why is it um, there is this concern. Okay, let us share a little bit further on the cost of funding on this matter, assuming you have some money, example like 1.5 million, which is very common. So cost of funding between a resale and a new launch, which is higher. All right, so assuming you talk about new launch, the cost of funding, you, be, you have to pay a progressive payment, but then during the time, there is no property tax yet under the construction and there is no maintenance fee. So when it comes to uh, resale, okay, you will have to start to pay the loan when the key when you collect the key okay the interest rate comes in of course you have to pay the property tax and you pay the maintenance monthly so which is higher for this chart once you see this chart it is an obvious answer why is it new launch is selling better nowadays okay the better pickup rate the cost of funding assuming okay you have a 1.5 million which is over here all right, so we talk about, well, let's do a 3% interest it's rate. Yes, 3% interest rate. Oh, let's do a 3% interest rate. And the monthly repayment for a resale is calculated to be around 4700 per month. Okay, and that's for a, a, a property. And let's come to a three years holding period before you sell your property. All right, for resale, the total amount of money that you pay for the interest for three years is a is approximately 100,000. 100, but when you come to real launch, the estimated payment of the interest is barely less than 20,000. So that's why new launch nowadays seems to be more attractive in terms of the interest rate compared to the resale. Of course, the choice is yours, right? So that's the reason why nowadays new launches, as you can see in the market, is always very fast pickup rate. Okay, so if you are interested to talk about new launch or resale, okay, but of course, certain people said that, oh, I've already made a payment for my resale, so how can I reduce my interest rate? We have some methods for you. If you're interested in that, do give us a call. My number is 813-5566. My number is 9272855. We see you in the next video. Bye-bye.